kettlebell, kettlebells have, in some regard, gotten a bit of a bad rap uh, by particular strength coaches and, and I suppose the industry in general. Uh, sometimes people just don't know how to use them. Mm. So, uh, I mean, the kettlebell swing, let's, let's go start with the kettlebell swing first and kind of unpack kettlebells. Yeah. But kettlebell swing, good or bad? Depends on the individual, depends on the problem. So it, there's no such thing as a bad exercise. It, it basically is just the wrong exercise given to the wrong person at the wrong time. That exercise might be great at the right time, but at that time it's the wrong one. So this, one of the studies that was done very well, I think it was McGill's study, looked at a particular style of kettlebell swing, and when you add up the mathematics, you basically pull things apart, it's like, you know, you're basically looking at how things, forces are occurring in the body. So he found out that the net effect was that there was a posterior shear on the spine with a kettlebell swing of the particular style they used. Now, is that a bad thing or a good thing? Depends on the person you're going to apply it to. There are certain people who a posterior shear force, which is just how the muscles will work, will actually make that person better. They were deficient in that posterior shear. That's something they needed. They needed a balancing force to an anterior shear. But you've got somebody else who the posterior shear is not going to be very effective for. It's going to make them worse because that's actually part of their problem. So you've got to know whether it's a posterior shear problem, an anterior shear problem, and the kettlebell is fine. But I'll show you how to do that later. So on that, uh, is, is the kettlebell a, a mutually exclusive rehabilitation tool? Is that how practitioners should be looking at it? As it's only, it's not really a tool for anything I, else? I think you could use it for anything. Great conditioning. You could use it. I, I mean, I use it for teaching lifting patterns. Um, you know, it could be used for any, any version of perhaps almost any exercise you want. You just have to get some damn big kettlebells sometimes. You know, I go up to 92 in my clinic at the moment for kettlebells. Do I think you deadlift? <laughs> if you can deadlift more than that, well, you need to move away from kettlebells if that's your goal.